Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Render. So far, Render um, is showing still strength. It showed a bit of short-term weakness, um, but so far we have maintained above the previous breakout point here of $2.95. Of course, it's still fighting as the entire crypto market is right now with the with the relevant setups on each chart. Um, also, Bitcoin is fighting, you know, that's not unique to Render here. Um, but yeah, I mean, my comments from yesterday basically still still remain valid. What we talked about in yesterday's video was the idea that um, Render is actually in a wave five. Within this wave five, we are dealing with um, an ABC structure because the whole move up is a diagonal pattern. Okay, so where we started actually, um, let me just zoom out and I can show you. We talked about that in yesterday's video. So it has to be a diagonal in yellow, one, two, three, four, five. The price reacted to our support areas. It reacted now to the third support area that I well gave you yesterday, but we'll see if it can maintain. It at least showed a reaction today. Um, but the idea would be if we really are now in the fifth wave, that this is subdividing again as an ABC structure, A wave, B wave was very shallow, and the C wave might be unfolding right now. Now, such a C wave um, can reach one of these FIB levels that we talked about, ideally $4.20. That would be the next ideal target yeah, um, or more. So the 1.618 extension level is, is just the next extension after the breakout. Um, we can specify that a little further in that we take the length of the A wave, we go to the low of the B wave and then the very, very earliest earliest target for such a C wave is the 61.8 extension level to which it reacted at $3.14. But that is not really a very common one. It is quite rare. If wave C was finished here, I mean, it's possible. I guess technically the requirements are fulfilled, but it's only so far off the lows, a three wave move. I'd like to see one more high, ideally pushing to round about $4.20 because it's not only the 1.618 extension of wave one down there, it is also the 100% extension of wave A, gives us a good confluence of Fibonacci targets. Yeah? Also the one to one ratio or 100% extension of the A wave is a typical target for wave C. Now let's zoom in. in. Yesterday's update, I gave you a support area, basically a small setup, should the price come back to that area uh, that it needs to hold that for continuation. And if I go to the one hour chart, you see that level was touched today. It's in orange here between $2.64 and $2.79. The price reacted to it. Fantastic. And it starts to move. So maybe this is the last wave up in the C wave. What we want to see is a five wave move. To be honest, the first waves are a bit short. So we'll see if we can get to $4.20. But this could have been a wave one, two, three, four, five. Important in such a wave four is that we avoid an overlap with wave one, which it did, and that we hold the 50% retracement level in order to maintain, so that it can maintain its impulsive potential if this C wave is an impulse. Yes, if it breaks below $2.64, it doesn't mean it will completely break down, but it will reduce the reliability of this structure because it could turn into, an, into a diagonal, which is not really what you want to trade normally. So I'm watching now if this today, if today's intraday low is holding. Okay, if not, it might make another low as long as it's holding $2.64. It could carry on in an impulse. Below that level, it will start to get messy. Then we might deal with a diagonal structure um, in which we only have an A, B. And um, it's moving up still in a C wave of three. So basically, wave three wouldn't be finished. But at the moment, I mean, overall, let's call it like that. The very first and earliest indication that things are starting to break down that would be provided with a break below 264, but the pattern would look quite incomplete. So I would prefer a push to $4.20. If we see a break below that wave too low, however, at $2.09, $2.10, then things will really look difficult because then we would have diff, um, yeah, um, uh, invalidation basically. Well, what else could it be then? Well, then I would have to assume that maybe this B wave was never finished, okay? And this B wave is unfolding as a very weird A, B, C structure, but then it could take another attempt from there again, okay? Which shows why regular profit taking is so important. 
when you use this setup that we communicated. I mean, the price moved up significantly. I mean, anybody who used that setup for a trade ideally would have taken at least some partial profits or moved up the stop loss because it moved like 70, 75% in a very, very short time. Yeah, that's my update about Render. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.